Now I'd like to turn to uh, Bill Banner, uh, who started last week building his uh, Owen 30 caboose. So Bill, welcome. Good evening, how are you tonight? You're doing great, yourself? Okay. So what we're gonna do tonight is um, we're gonna add the siding to the caboose and uh, the end beams. And as you can see what I've got laid out in front of me, um, I've already got everything colored and ready to go. And what I did was I use a, uh, a thin wash of grimy black uh, from True Color. I'll get it on the screen here. <laughs> um, and I thin this down with acetone uh, to a reasonable weathered looking black, uh, grayish black. And brush it on. And I did the same thing with some uh, Denver and Rio Grande boxcar red uh, to get the red. So, the next step is we're going to put the uh, platforms in place. And what I do is in the instructions, I use a lot of spray adhesive. So, we'll do this one real quick. Let me just raise it up right there. I'm using uh, Super 77. Where do you get that, Bill? Um, a lot of, some of the hobby shops will carry something similar. Um, I get mine from McMaster Car, which is a hardware supply company online. Uh, but from, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed it from where? McMaster car. McMaster? Yeah. Um, you can get it at the hobby store. Home Depot's got it. Lowe's, I'm sure, has it. Okay. So, some of the... I've never used it before. Are there any tricks with it? I uh, just want to put plenty on. Um, you read the instructions on the can. It says to uh, coat both pieces. You're, the piece you're adding and put it on there, it acts like a contact cement. I just put it on the part that I'm going to be sticking on and I put yeah. a little amount on. You know, not too much, but not too little either. Yeah. Uh, experience thing. The reason I use this is I found on some models, especially O scale, uh, when using white glue to uh, put the siding on. Next day, the whole wall would be warped because of the water in the uh, in the wood glue. Correct. So I went to using spray adhesive and found it works well because uh, just don't have that problem. But if you notice, uh, these wood pieces are cut in 132 basswood, and it can be quite fragile. So you kind of need to think about that when you're dealing with this, but overall, um, it does provide a good look in the end. I have no other excuse. It also goes rather quickly. Let's bring it back up to the, to the siding, to the side of the car.
It looks like you've got a reasonable amount of work time with that uh, uh, tacky glue. Oh, you do. It uh, probably stays uh, liquid or at least workable for a good four or five minutes. So you get a chance to stuff around. So now we'll stick the end beams on and they just sit uh, flat at the end. It's going to sit flat on top here and then right under the uh, platform on the end. And I'll use my width loop for that. I'm left-handed, so my left hand's always in the way. I apologize for that. And this is just a standard Emery board. Get that at uh, Walmart. And so we'll just test it on the uh, flat car. And it should be perfect fit after pushing the end off. Okay. There we go. Next week we'll do the roof, add some of the trim, and um, make up the grab irons. Back to you, Jim. I right, appreciate it. Does anybody have any questions for Bill? Yeah, uh, Bill, this is Greg. When you use the 3M spray, I always get a lot of buildup at the nozzle if I don't constantly clean it. Do you have some way around that? It's always building up. Um, I don't really bother cleaning it up. I'll just kind of nip off right at the nozzle and then give it a couple of shots into the spray booth and it usually cleans itself up and it's ready to go. It can be a pain as you can see on the front of the can here, it's just dribbling out the front, but you know. Yeah, that's what mine ends up looking like too. All right, thanks. Really, it didn't, it didn't seem like you were, you were putting a lot, of, a lot of the spray on there. It was kind of, uh, very, very little from what I could tell how, how long you were spraying it. Um, well, I put, a, I put three to four coats on, uh, quick coats, but that seems to work. In, instead of one heavy coat. Right. Do you let it dry between the coats a little bit or, or just uh, back and forth? No, um, I'll show you on a test piece here. So it's just, that's it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, that puts enough glue on there. It'll pretty much stick to anything. Anybody else have any questions? All right, Bill, thank you so very much. Look forward to next week.